Okay, so we're here at the 2024 SHOT Show Mystery Day at the range. I'm Jerry, this is my friend Chris. You haven't seen him in many videos, but he's gonna be here with us today doing some shooting and checking out some of these the amazing products at this uh, range day. Uh, how are you feeling today, Chris? I'm a very excited day. There are so many vendors here, so many products to demo. This is gonna be great. Yeah, we're excited. We're gonna start here at Franklin Armory. They do binary trigger units for a variety of handguns. So let's check them out. Right hand or left hand? Righty. All right, go ahead and take control for me. Just visualize that uh, selector there. You see, again, the semi and the binary. You got it. Okay? You got it. Go ahead and uh, insert your magazine. Maintain that uh, trigger control, all right? I will. So in case you missed it, Chris has never shot a full auto rifle before, um, and so we're going to check it out. Hopefully he likes it. <laughs> Get ready for it. Whoa! Okay. Oh man. Perfect. Thank you. Absolutely. Ready to rock and roll. Thank you. Just just so you know. yeah. All right, A2 style rifle. This is classic, modern classic. Lot less regulation. Yeah, they're awesome, right? Super soft shooting. So cool. Yeah. All right, so we just got done with the Bushmaster and Franklin Armory uh, lanes here at Industry Range Day. Chris got to shoot full auto. First time. First time. What did you think of it? First <laughs> We're about to check out uh, PTR's booth. They make suppressors, and we, we got to hold their suppressor earlier. It's like 3D prints, a titanium, all one piece. Uh, they're shooting right now behind the camera, and I don't even know if you're going to be able to pick up their shooting because it is so quiet. So we're going to get there hands on with here, They're not the suppressed gunshots. The suppressed fire here is click. So we built a very You get a ring from a suppressed Oh, sure. There you go, Chris. All right, we're going to do some drone lifting. Uh, is that carbon fiber in some it of is carbon places? fiber. Yeah, that's nice. It's, so, it's weighty, but it's, it's, it's light. So then without the batteries, so you can kind of see how most of the weight is actually the batteries. Same thing. All right, we don't have the batteries in it now. Oh, yeah. I won't do it one-handed, but I feel like I can carry it with one hand. Thank you so much, Gary. Absolutely. That's awesome. Most device uh, in April. Uh, Chris, what are we about to do? You're about to shoot some tasers at a taser target range that I've never done before. How about you? That's right. We're going to shoot tasers, not at each other, as much as that would be fun, <laughs> at a target. Find out you let a flashlight or a remote. So when you're ready, you can slide that forward. I'm ready to arm. You're ready. All right. See that laser? There you go. 
Wow. So no, that's actually a good, great hit. Oh that's yeah, that's, hit. that's gonna be painful. So go ahead and take the selector and push it out, okay? So you just shot the taser at the demo booth over there for Axon. What did you think of it? Well, first of all, I had no idea the taser had rebranded to Axon, so that was new information for me. But I had never fired a taser before. I'd never held a taser before. The civilian one which I got to shoot was the Taser Bolt 2. And it was, I one, I did very good by hitting the target exactly where he told me to hit it. Um, but very little recoil. Um, it was very satisfying. It, it looks like a flashlight. It's something that I don't think anybody would be really any worried about carrying around because it doesn't look like it's a weapon. And I would feel very safe with one. I'm kind of curious to get one. I want to explain it. Just pulled up to Berna, uh, less lethal. They're going to have all these cool pepper ball launchers. They have impact rounds. They have a bunch of cool CO2 power guns designed to incapacitate people who would do harm. So we're going to check this out, uh, fire some of the pepper ball rounds, and see how it is. All right, so we're going live with this pepper ball launcher. We're going to aim at that uh, white target, that white rubber dummy target right over there. So we created a new rail so that uh, you can do high vis sights on you. So you can swap the sights. Okay. So you can do like, night sights. I was just looking at that because I didn't see how it swapped out. So you hold your rail. You just swap the rail, but it's not a, not a, big, not a big change. Yeah. So I should say just a big yeah. like a yeah. point A, point of impact. Yeah. Um, to you got a shot with like range. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, right. You can shoot anything out there. We're going to aim at the total statue of Run the action. I think I hit it. Did I hit it? I think you hit it. Yes. I hit it. I heard this it. is fantastic. I heard it. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. This is great. So we just finished up at Berna. Chris got to shoot the uh, less lethal impact round and a couple of the pepper ball round, uh, launchers. See the, the shooting and everything behind me. This is such a fun day so far and the weather is so cool. It's raining now ever so slightly. It's cold. It's cloudy. Ah, it's a beautiful day to be at the range. We're over here at Arms Corps USA, also known as Rock Island Armory, is one of their brands. They have a bunch of firearms on display here at SHOT Show Range Day, so we're going to check some out and have some fun doing some plinking. So this is a 9mm revolver. Arms Pretty easy. I don't know too many nine-minute revolvers. Pretty smooth. This is the second version of this since the last year. Got great gun. An MSR, MSRP around 1988. And this is something you make in Utah. Yep. First, first hundred percent USA made firearm. Firearm That's awesome. Like it? Cool. Pull that out, slide the strip foot. 
Well, we're, behind us is the Honda tent, and uh, I was hoping they were gonna have some ATVs for, for demoing, because they've, they've, ATVs have been here in the past. Not this year, I think it's too wet and rainy, and, and, and the other companies that had ATVs aren't here anymore. So that brings us to the end of our SHOT Show experience for this year, uh, for the range day. We're actually going back tomorrow for the convention, and that'll be a whole separate video, so stay tuned for that. What was your favorite thing about today? There were a number of things that I was excited to see and try today. A number of handguns, I fired a revolver for the first time, uh, a really nice semi-automatic shotgun with very little recoil, but I think my favorite thing from the entire range day show was a suppressor by a company called PTR, Silencer, essentially. Um, there are several other companies here that have suppressors. We're in Nevada, by the way. Uh, suppressors are not legal in California, but we're, I tried so many of them. And this, the model from PTR is by far, is so much more effective. It, it is nothing. The sound of the slide coming back is louder than the shot going off. It was really impressive. Yeah. 3D printed with titanium. titanium yeah. All one piece. Like, talk about high tech. In any case, um, I was trying to think back just moments ago before we started recording this, what my favorite part of the day was. I, there was so much, so many guns I shot that I, were just really a blast to shoot. I mean, I don't have just one thing. Uh, so it, it was a great time. Uh, thanks for coming along with us, and uh, more to come tomorrow.